Hey guys, what is up? It's Vanessa, welcome back to my channel. We are doing lunches today. I am showing you some of the lunches I packed for my nine-year-old last week to head back to school. That sounds like something you wanna keep watching, then stick around and even take a second to subscribe if that sounds good to you too. I do what's for dinners, grocery hauls, vlogs, what I eat in the day, day in the life, pretty much anything, you can find it on this channel. I do remember this was the very first day of school and Belle wanted to take some leftover cheese tortellini that I had made in a previous what's for dinner. Now, all I did at the very beginning of this video was put some hot water from my Keurig, 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 throw the lid on it and let it sit for 15 minutes. This is basically gonna prep your thermos so it'll stay nice and hot for whatever hot goodies you're putting inside. There's the tortellini. Now, I would have shown you the process of making this lunch, except take a look at this clip right here. Yeah, my camera was upside down. Amazing, I need to stop packing lunches in the morning and start doing this at night obviously but here is her lunch for today i went ahead and put some ice in her water bottle it's one of those ones you can add lemon or berries in the bottom sometimes i add lemon but y'all i am not out there buying lemons for my kid to go to school i threw some parmesan cheese in the little rubbermaid uh, container to go with her tortellini i have some ranch dressing celery and some pepperoni there for her i also had some little cracker packs i had made up in a food prep video i will link that for you guys i'm giving her one of the uh, banana chocolate chip loaves, a granola bar, and a juice box, and I always like to send her with real utensils. For the rest of the lunches that I'm gonna show you, I will show you the after at the end of the day and how much she ate, and I'll have a little talk about it, but for that one, whatever reason, it must have been a big day and I didn't record it. Now, this next lunch is ramen or Mr. Noodles here, that's what we call them. Um, I just like to split the pack in half just so it's a little easier for her to eat while she's in class. Now, I do buy these multi-packs of little chocolate bars. I just think it's a really neat idea to sneak a treat into your kids' lunches. Now. Granted, I need to hide these because they will get consumed by my husband in the middle of the night or just by the three other stepkids that are here. If you're curious why I'm not packing lunches for them, two of them are 16 and nearly 15, well, 17 and 15, and the other little guy, he's gonna be eight and he doesn't spend a lot of school days here. He's with his mom more often, so you're mo mainly just gonna see Belle's lunches. So I threw some of the Great Value Cheetos in there. So, so good, you guys, you have to go check them out. And I'm also slicing up an apple here. I don't feel like this is not common knowledge, but I'm going to share it with you anyway. If you just douse it with a little bit of lemon juice and toss them around it'll prevent them from browning because if your kids like mine she's super fussy and will not eat them if there's anything brown on them so this is one way I can make sure that they get consumed and I'm really loving the great value brands lately you guys here in Canada I don't find there's very many on the east coast but I'm noticing they're bringing more in so I threw one of the iced teas also gave her a yogurt drink I don't know if she's going to be able to tolerate that but it's worth trying she has some stomach issues like her mama also I'm just going to go ahead and dump the Mr. Noodle with some liquid in there she likes to have it as a soup or a broth so here it is all thrown together again I like throwing real utensils in there I just find it's better all right so let's see what she ate today i just opened it up i haven't looked yet sorry we got life going on here Hi. oh my goodness look she ate all her apples jacoby yeah an apple today. you had an apple today did you eat it all yeah i did how did she eat all her apple and not all her cheesies what kind of weird kid is that Anyway, that's a good thing. And she ate about half the Mr. Noodle. So that's good. That's pretty normal if she were hungry. Are you giving me your toy? For the, you want to trade for the Mr. Noodle? No, I don't want that. Take your bone. Go. Well, I don't want it. All right. All right, guys. That's what she ate. I will show you in the morning what we pack for lunch tomorrow. Bye. 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 
All right, now we're getting into some more cold lunch ideas. This is kind of like a lunchable or snacky lunch, call it whatever you'd like, but these silicone dividers are ideal. These are a Wilton brand. You can find, I think it's like a 12 pack at Walmart. They're super affordable. Otherwise I found them at the Dollarama here, or you can probably find them at the Dollar Tree. All I do is use them to divide. Now this is a big systemic container. You guys know I'm super, super big on that. And I put crackers, some pepperoni, some more of that Hormel pepperoni, some celery, I'm going to throw some Doritos in there and then I'm going to throw some apple slices and all I did earlier was throw two mini muffins that I had made in another food, uh, food prep video earlier and threw them inside a Rubbermaid container as well. I'm really big on trying to use reusable containers you guys, less Ziploc bags and stuff. I just, it makes me feel better and it's easy. She's older. She's able to maneuver a lot of these containers and one thing I say about it often is they are easy for little kids to open. The system are, are awesome. I threw another Another water bottle in there another iced tea and this is everything for her this is usually perfect because she can just pick at it and eat what she like and of course I had to throw a granola bar in all right so let's see what she did for lunch today they have a water bottle filling station there they don't have fountains anymore but they have a spot where they can fill their water bottles so okay that's just her freezer packs had something on it. I don't know what it was and I was too lazy to wash it. Empty. What was in here? Apples. Oh yay. She's been eating her apples. That's making me really happy. And this is looking good. Only a little bit. Actually, I'm surprised she even ate any of that if I'm honest, but I thought, you know what? I'm going to stick it in and see what she does. And she did. So she did not touch her celery though. That's not cool. And it's a little bit warm in here. So I'm going to have to throw that out, but she did pretty good. Otherwise everything else is gone. I don't remember what was in there. You guys just saw that. Do you remember? <laughs> Not bad, kiddo. Not bad. All right, my favorite saying is I am not reinventing the wheel, you guys. I am just packing a ham and cheese wrap. This is her favorite. She's pretty basic and I snuck that lettuce in there so I'm surprised she even ate it. I always tell her I have to do this so it doesn't get soggy because the mustard will make your wrap soggy whatever it works i'm gonna throw some turkey on here with some shredded cheese that i shred up earlier in the week in a food prep and i'm just gonna slice it up and throw it inside of this rubbermaid container i love these rubbermaid containers they are the lunch block sets you can get lots of different sizes and shapes but i just like them they really hold up well in the dishwasher and that's my go-to for doing dishes i always like to tuck a piece of paper towel in there one so she has a napkin and another so it absorbs any moisture that might be coming from her wrap so it doesn't get or get too soggy. I'm going to use one of those silicone dividers again and throw some celery in there and I will throw in some ranch dressing because we know she won't eat it without any ranch and I should have known better. I also put some fruit gummies in there. I'm not 100% convinced she's going to eat those either but I'm just kind of trying new things. This is the first week of school and I don't know about you guys but once your kids turn nine it's like all of a sudden they're like you don't know me anymore. No I don't. She's literally nine going on 16 you guys so I'm just she will come home and tell me what she wants in her lunch I'm sure I'm gonna take one of those lunch block containers and throw some saltines in there with some cut up pepperoni that was not a winner I will tell you that right now but I threw it in there like I said I'm just trying my best here so they fit really great in her lunch containers ideally that's why I love them so we're back with her contigo and a kool-aid jammer and lunch is ready All right, guys, let's take a look and see what Belle did or didn't eat last night. Um, I usually do this at night and it's the first week of school and I'm already leaving emptying her lunch till the morning. In my defense, I was doing a voiceover for another video and I was tired. Anyway, let's take a look and see if she actually ate the wrap I packed for her yesterday. Oh, well, that's a good sign. Hold on, calm down. Okay, oh, she didn't actually eat the candy or the gummies. You know, it's not her thing and sometimes this kind of stuff upsets her stomach so I should have known better than to put that in there she's my poor kid I have Crohn's if you guys don't know <laughs> oh she ate most of her celery I think I put like four of these in there so that's pretty good for her oh she didn't even touch this she eats pepperoni no and I'm not gonna put it back well I could actually because it's a room temperature like you can keep that stored in the cupboard so 
I'm just gonna stick this back in there today. Unless she looks at it this morning when I ask her, is there a reason you don't want to eat this? And she's like, ew, then I'll take it out. But all right. And she ate, what was it? Of course she ate that, it was cookies. That's it. All right, guys, that is it. That is my first week of back to school for 2020 lunches. I hope it gave you a little bit of inspiration, some motivation. Go out and get yourself a new lunch container and just live your best mama life. All right, guys, love you guys. Take care. See you in my next video.